So people, the two best push rifles or even PvP weapons in the game right now are the Vigilance Wing and the Graviton Lance. 99% of the community would agree. But oh boy, there is another player in town. What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today we compare the Graviton Lance, the Vigilance Wing and the Redrix's Claymore. But hey guys, if you do like the video and would like to support the channel, hitting that like button truly does help me and my channel out and I do indeed appreciate that support. Okay, so the Redrix is Claymore, a weapon that's so rare at the moment, literally less than 1% of the entire player base for Destiny 2 own it. Luckily, thanks to Blinks, who I believe was the first in the world to get this, an amazing PvP player whose Twitch and Twitter you will find linked within the video description. All gameplay footage of this Red Drix's Claymore is thanks to Blinks, so do go and show this guy some love, people. Now, I know you shouldn't really be comparing exotics to legendaries, as for the most part, it's an unfair comparison due to the fact exotics have exotic intrinsic perks and legendaries can be equipped alongside said exotics. So, in reality, comparisons are kind of silly between the two. But if you are a PvP player and you want a weapon which will guide you to victory, if you want a weapon you can rely on, if you want to come out on top of gunfights more times than not, rarity here doesn't matter as setups can be based around any specific weapon or an armor piece for that matter. So the only comparison here which truly matters is which is more effective for a better overall playstyle and setup you can keep on top with. All three weapons are relatively equal within their own unique rights, but one weapon today, in my opinion, towers above the rest. So let's first check out the Graviton Lance. Firstly, this weapon has changed a lot from before the War Mine was released. It's a whole new level of a beast right now. It now fires two bullets per burst and fires roughly two bursts per second. With a total of 30 bullets in a mag, it will empty its entire clip in around 7 seconds. So it certainly hasn't got the fastest fire rate we have ever seen. The damage numbers on this thing are kind of weird also. The first shot of the burst to the head does 12. The second shot to the head does 59 or 60, depending on how close you are. So with 3 bursts it will kill almost any opponent, doing a total damage of 216. And you can do this in about 1.5 seconds, which is its fastest time to kill. The exotic perk on the Graviton Lanzo cannot be ignored considering we are comparing weapons for effectiveness in PvP. Black Hole, second shot of the burst rips a hole through space time, doing high damage and recoil with no fall off. Now if you have come across a team stacked together, killing one of them and this triggering truly damages your enemy if they are trapped within its blast. It also spawns mini axiom bolts which also chase them too, which are pretty lethal. The clip in the background now is by Destiny Overwatch whose channel can be found linked within the video description. This shows how devastating this weapon can be in the right circumstances. It's absolutely lethal. The Vigilance Wing is also an animal now. This fires 5 bullets per burst and roughly 2 bursts per second. It has a total of 50 bullets in its mag and will empty that entire mag in just over 5 seconds. It does a total of 20 damage to the head per bullet. So at this times 10 means it can kill in a little over a second. The pause between bursts though does kind of hold it back. But it definitely has a faster time to kill than the Graviton Lance. But because of its recoil direction, landing all 5 bullets to the head over a certain range is almost impossible. Especially if that target is moving. And although it does kill quicker on paper, it doesn't necessarily mean you'll be able to do it on a constant basis going into gunfights with opponents using the Graviton Lance. It just ain't gonna happen. Its intrinsic perk is fairly decent. I don't really see the one side of it coming into play that often though, and that is you gain health and movement speed when a nearby ally is killed. I mean, I ain't sure on the exact radius of this, but I'm guessing you probably have to be holding hands with your allies. Which to be honest is what a lot of PvP players do these days anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Now out of the Graviton Lance and the Vigilance Wing, it's hard for me to pick one. Both have unique properties and depending on the map and the playstyle you're going after, it ultimately leads me to pick either. If I had one choice and had to pick one, I'd probably go with the Graviton Lance. Okay, so the third weapon within today's video is a weapon like I said is so rare, hardly anyone on the planet has it. But there are a certain set few who do own it. Luckily, thanks to Blinks, we can see it in action and just how fast this thing can kill. So the Redrix is Claymore, what's special about it? Well, first off, let's check out this thing's stats. So it shoots three bullets per burst like a standard legendary push rifle would and two bursts per second. 
so six shots can be landed in a second. It has a clip side of 27 and it will clear out that clip in roughly 4.5 seconds. This weapon does 29 damage to the head, so it will kill any opponent in little over a second, basically matching that of the Vigilance Wing. But people, it gets better, way, way better. This weapon is unique because it has a pair of perks not seen on any weapon anywhere else in the game and it's highly unlikely that they ever will. Its pair of trait perks are Outlaw, precision kills greatly decrease reload time, and then it has Desperado, reloading while Outlaw is active greatly increases your rate of fire. Very interesting. So if you get a kill, your reload becomes kinda instant, that's if you do reload while Outlaw is active, which lasts 5 seconds by the way. So if you get a kill and you reload while Outlaw is active, Desperado kicks in, meaning the weapon's rate of fire greatly increases. But at what cost? There has to be a cost. Well, the only cost I can see is ammo. Check this out. So it now with Desperado active, which lasts 7 seconds by the way, it now shoots 11 bullets per second. Yes people, 11 bullets per second. Almost doubling its rate of fire. But yet it does the exact same amount of damage. Meaning people, it kills people in around half a second, but it's capable of such. You can see this on screen now how fast this thing kills. It is truly insane guys. And if you were able to get a kill with Desperado active, Outlaw then kicks back in. So if you reload again within 5 seconds, Desperado kicks in again. I mean this is a weapon you can seriously do a lot of damage with. What were Bungie thinking putting such a weapon in the game? I honestly don't know what they were thinking but I love it and they need to keep it up. Weapons as such to chase are the reason many of us keep logging in every day. And people looking at the Redrix's Claymore in action, you can understand why you can compare this to the two of the exotics today. When it performs like this, it's hard not to. So if I had a choice out of the three, the Redrix's Claymore for me takes the crown. A big factor also though in me picking the Redrix's Claymore over the other two exotics here is the fact I probably won't ever get it. The Redrix's Claymore requires you to reach a glory rank of 3 in Season 3 when Season 3 is gone, so is the weapon. This means you have to play competitive for a long while and continuously win. I'm not sure how many games it is, but I'm guessing it's over 50. Something I just ain't capable of doing. I just ain't good enough in PvP to do so, I will admit it. The one thing I will say about such a weapon is though, why lock it behind a wall only good PvP players can break through? This will just lead to all the best PvP players owning this weapon, while all the PvP players like me who ain't that skilled will be left down and out. We'll be at such a major disadvantage, it'd be crazy. I'm truly hoping there is such a PvE weapon, which requires a crazy grind, in which also performs just as well. I don't see it happening but hey, I can always dream. And hey guys we have come to the end of the video. The Redrix's Claymore truly is an animal of a weapon. Unfortunately a weapon many of us won't ever see. What's even crazier guys though is that you can actually pair the Redrix's Claymore with the Graviton Lance if you wanted to go full sweat. But that's just nuts. But guys, I have come to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like truly does help me out. Tell me what you think about the Redrix's Claymore. Also tell me which exotic you prefer, Graviton Lance or the Vigilance Wing. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully people, I will see you on that next one.